Hey, what's up guys? Really quickly, I'm going to go over a slight issue I've been having over the last three days, just trying to install the Selenium dependencies and get the library up and running in Android Studios. Um, this is going to be using the, lazy, the latest version, which is uh, 7.3.0. Um, and yeah, I'll, so I'll just get started. This is the only file that's going to be required, and you can get it online on the Appium website. Um, you're going to have to go to appium.io slash downloads.html to get there. You actually can't get to this from the new Appium website and then choose Java and download right here, the java.client. This is essentially the same thing as, you know, just importing your dependency um, uh, through the URL uh, this way. Anyways, we need the physical dependency because if you're getting a lot of the duplicate class errors, it means that you probably have too many dependencies. Okay, so what you're going to do is first off come in and uh, download this file and if you were to just straight up put this in your libs and import it, you might get some errors. Let's see if I can run this. Um, yeah, so we're already missing some native classes and this is f the Android element class and desired capabilities. These are both part of Selenium. You can see we're actually not even getting part of Selenium when we import uh, the Java-client. Um, I don't know why this is all super, super flawed, but shout out to, you know, the hardworking people doing open source. Uh, you may need to activate this multi-dex implementation if you find that you're getting an error saying you have over 64,000 methods. Um, if so, that's not a problem. Just put that in and then multi-dex enabled is true in the default config. Um, so yeah. First off, fixing these errors, to fix these, we're also going to need to implement um, Selenium itself, and this is the latest version from their website. Um, now, it, if we were to implement both of these, these have overlapping libraries. I mean, this should technically be getting a Selenium HQ library, but it doesn't seem to be... Um, it doesn't seem to have everything that Android Studio might need if you're doing Android development which is why we have to implement this separately. Now, if you were to run this, this is going to be the most common duplicate class error. And look at how many of these there are. Um, if you're seeing this, it probably honestly starts with the commons.logging. Um, I, I just kept this here, the fix for that. You go create a new configurations all, and then exclude the group commons-logging, module commons dash logging because that is in the java client as well is actually uh i believe that's a gradle um a native gradle library that it's conflicting with now for the rest of these these are all going to be conflicting with selenium and the java dash client so we can see java dash client and the extra selenium that we are importing so what you're going to do is go to where you downloaded the jar and um right click on it and what you want to do is create a copy essentially um, but first we'll rename it you might want to create a copy just in case this goes wrong the first time change it to zip and if you don't know you can go in to any jar file rename it to a zip and open it with something like with winrar or win 7 zip um, and then we're going to be looking for these classes it's essentially everything in the org.selenium file so org open qa selenium and you'll notice word for word, these are the same. Search context, search context, we got web driver, all of these internal classes, and then we get the find by class name, which is in internal. So you're actually just going to select all of these, and I use WinRAR just because it's I like it the most. It's all preference. Um, select these, delete them, come back out. We should be good for this now. So this one, and I just kept my other working before I was doing this video. Uh, rename it to .jar. Copy that, and I just copied it to my clipboard. And then we're going to go into libs, show in Explorer, libs, and then paste, and place file in this destination. Um, I, I've been spending, like I said, I've spent the last three days on this error, and it seems like a lot of people have, are having the same difficulties. Um, and it's just 
it's it's a communication error I think between the people at Selenium and the people working on Appium. You have two different open source groups working on it. You know who has permission to do what? I have no idea, um, but this should fix. So now let's go ahead and run the app again. And I forgot to mention if if you're getting um, any errors that say something like oh error missing uh, meta dash inf version slash nine or or any of those any meta inf errors you can see right here I added a packaging options we just exclude all of those um, to be fairly honest I don't know why that is um, but those seem to be popping up as I've been working on this over the last few days and if you will look down here it looks like the build was complete and yep we get the login right there login and password so that is it for this really really quick short tutorial i'm just showing you guys how to get selenium up and running and working in 2020 um this is a start of may actually so yeah hope you guys like this and uh check in for other tutorials